New King Legacy update came out yesterday. I kind of missed it, but this morning I went ahead and I uh, I got all the awakenings. Now, um, for some strange reason, you have to get a specific item to awaken control. So you have to get this Dominion Cloak, which by the way, this is actually not... The stats on this are actually not that bad for an accessory. That's actually... That's actually pretty decent. Okay, so uh, we're going to be starting with the first move, zone control. So zone control kind of works a little differently. So if you tap it, you create the room around yourself just in a general area, which, man, that's a big area. So actually what I want to do is I want to get rid of all my passives to actually see how much damage the moves do. So my accessories and get the actual real damage of these things. Perfect. All right. But that's zone control. It has more to it. So if you hold it down, you can create it away from you in a range, but it's a lot smaller. I don't, I don't really see the point of it. If I'm being honest, I don't, I, I think it creates an area too close. It creates an area too close. Anyone could get out of that. But yeah, you kind of, you got two different options for putting down your room. So, I mean, it gives the option at least, which is pretty nice, pretty nice. But it's just not as good as just summoning it instantly like this. That's like triple the size. But first we have a stone craft. So summons four rocks. Um, I've not seen the damage of this move without passives. I'm really glad you can remove your passives now and save them. Oops. <laughs> But we're going to be seeing the true damage of this. Uh, that's that's decent damage. That's decent damage. Um, I think for damage, I'm going to give this move like... For that's going to be a 6 out of 10 for damage. That's kind of on the low end of the spectrum for damage, if I'm being honest. I think, I think like 9,000 or 10,000 is where we would hit like a 5 or something. That's decent damage uh that's not too bad next up we got electro heart now this is actually a move that uh has two variations if you just tap it you get like a long range little shock i'm assuming that's going to be more effective on sea beast because everything's going to hit it kind of summons like three different shocks mm, i don't think that would hit all i don't think all that would hit sea beasts probably only one would hit but only one of those blasts deal like, like pretty much like six thousand damage. Looking at the damage for this move, I'm gonna give that one like, <laughs> I'm gonna give the damage on this one like a, shoot, probably like a three. Damage on this move is not really good, but if you hold it, you get the ability to take the heart. Now that deals some pretty good damage, and it's a way safer way of taking their heart. Uh, compared to V1, where you just kind of got to get close. You do it in like a big area. And you deal a lot of damage. So I think for the damage on... If we're talking about that, vari uh, that variation, I think I'm going to give it like a... I'm going to give it like an 8 out of 10 in damage. That's pretty good damage. Next, we have Task Pillar here. This is kind of like your little... You know, your little AoE move. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the, the Gold Fist move. Um, from the gold fruit where like the fists come out of the floor. Yeah, it kind of, me, kind of reminds me a little bit of that, but I guess it's better. D pretty good damage. I'm going to give that like an 8 out of 10 for damage as well. That's pretty decent damage. But yeah, this is like purely the damage I'm getting just with no accessories, no passives. So I'm getting the absolute true damage here. But yeah, that's that move's pretty decent. And then we have Fusion Cut. Now, Fusion Cut is another one of those moves that actually has two variations. There's actually one variation that has to have the room down. You can't have it up. But we'll do Fusion Cut first. Um, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the Fusion Cut damage is kind of mid. That's that's like a 6 out of 10. I, that's supposed to be the alt for this thing. Um, as pretty mid damage, I'm not gonna lie. Like for for being a for being like the last attack, 
it, it's the damage is not good. Wait, hold on. Let me try to keep this. I don't know if I was hitting anything else. Let me just try to keep this in one area. Yeah, so we got that. I think if you aim properly, you grab them. Mm, yeah, I'm going to have to give that like a 6 out of 10 for damage. That is, that is not really good damage. And then you have the version of it without the room, which surprisingly, this fruit lets you use attacks without it. So you get like a little slash attack, which deals decent damage. I'm going to give that like... I'm going to give that one like a 5. 5 out of 10 for damage. The next move we have going on here is Blink. Now, the room is a lot more bigger now. So, Blink is actually a really good option for getting from place to place. Like, this, this actually is really good. Like, you can go from here all the way up there. That is a lot of range. For PvP, I haven't used this in PvP yet, but I would be able to gauge how good it is for PvP, kind of based on what I'm seeing. Um, I don't think Stonecraft is really going to be good for PvP. Um, a lot of fights take place in the air. Electro Pillar is also not really going to be good for PvP, I don't believe. And this is also on the floor. I don't really think that's going to be good for PvP either. This Fusion Cut could probably be good for PvP. If you, it pulls them in, so I mean, I don't know if it works even if their dodges are there. I don't know if they have to have all their dodges drained for the pull to happen. But this seems like a good move with a lot of combo potential. That doesn't, that doesn't seem that bad at all. As for Fusion Cut, so there is an option without the room. And I think Fusion Cut could be one of the best moves this fruit has in terms of PvP uh, without the room. Because... Really wide slashes, a lot of hits, so their dodges would be gone really quickly. It seems it seems pretty good. It seems pretty good. It's a good move. Like the damage is not great, but it definitely serves a purpose in PvP. That's for sure. But what do I think of this awakening? Um, it's a good awakening. It's way better than, of course, the unawakened version for sure. But that's pretty much going to be it. Honestly, awakened control, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. If I'm going to put it on a tier list, I would give it... Hmm, I'm going to give it a B tier. It's not the best awakening that I've ever seen. It's much better than the old one. But I'm going to give it a B tier. I think what saves it is that it does have some move variety. Electro Heart has two variations. Fusion Cut has two variations. So you're technically getting more moves than what you're seeing here, technically. But that's pretty much going to be it.